Hey guys, it's your Wednesday Calabra here, Natalie, aka Timberhorse Girl 31. Um, I wanted to have an edited video up today, but I kind of ran out of time, so instead I'm making you this video, and it's going to be a mixture of things. So today's video includes a small haul, a review, and a what's in my grooming bag tour. So let's get started. Okay, so I've been needing a new one for a while, and I got one today, but I didn't exactly buy it. It's a new body protector. Basically, um, we... I tried some on, then we needed to order one, and then when it finally came it didn't fit me anymore, because like, I must have grown since I'd tried it on, because it was a month later. So, because um, I'm going off to uni soon, there's no point in like forking out for a brand new one. So this one was just from my stables, and it's just a piece of lost property. That fits me, and, and... Sorry about that, I just heard some shouting downstairs, so I just stopped for a second. Um, but yeah, this was just some lost property, and so I just put some money in the charity box and they let me have it. So, um, it's got a little tear in the back, but I don't really mind. It's a body protector and it fits, and it's comfortable, and it's, um, I'm guessing that's the brand, it's Olympian. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, that's my small haul, I'm really happy with it. I've been riding in it for a couple of weeks now, so I'm pretty used to the body protector now. But um, we put £10 in one of the charity boxes, and I'm putting another £10 in it next week. So all in all, this was £20. And yeah, this was just a spare body protector that was lying around that no one collected. So they just let me have it for a small price. So yeah, that's my small haul for today. Okay, the review I want to do is on the um, Manapro Bite Size Nuggets in Apple Flavor. I just want to say that these are amazing, literally, like, the horses that I was giving them to, um, they went crazy for them, they were literally begging for more, like, they were just nudging me and just looking at us, just going, please give us more. So, I give these, like, five out of five, because not only did the horses love it, I loved giving it to them, and I still go crazy for the smell so good. So yeah, that is my... That's what they look like. And that's my uh, review on these. I give them 5 out of 5 stars. And they're really good, so I really recommend these treats for horses, because basically all of them love them. So if you want a good treat for your horse, go for these, because they're just... They're really good. So yeah, that is my small review. And lastly, I'm going to do a what's in my grooming bag tour. Now, I think I'm going to hold the camera for this so you can get a, like a big shot. So just give me one second and I'll be with you momentarily. Okay, so this is my grooming bag. It's the, um, it's the tough one. Quality stable accessories bag. And I, I ordered this from America and I had it shipped over to England, which wasn't too expensive. It was right actually. Oops. I'm really sorry. I've got a really sniffly nose, so I might be going like this all the time, <laughs> like that. Yeah. But yeah, there's my grooming bag. Um, it's really nice. It's got two straps there, and then it's got. Oops. Sorry about that. And it's got one large strap with a zip pocket at the back. Two elasticated pockets on the side, and four pockets at the front. Two small, one medium, and one large. And in the front, I have my first mane and tail comb. I don't use this. I don't think I've ever used this actually, but that's just my blue mane and tail comb. And then I have this blue mane and tail comb, and I use this quite a bit. You can probably see the mud in it. I don't know if you can. But I like this a lot. I really recommend it. It's such a good thing. It's... I think it's grippy. I really do forget. Oh my gosh, my nose is really annoying me. Okay, the next thing I've got in my grooming bag is um, this hoof pick. It's not that great. I prefer them with a brush. But it's okay. It wasn't expensive, so you know. Uh, the next thing I have is this... Um, body brush by Shies. It was like $1.99 and I thought it was cute so I decided to get it. It feels really weird to hold because it's so small. Yeah. 
but I like it anyway. Then I have uh, my soft brush. It's really soft. It's made of goat's hair by Cottage Graft, and it's just really soft. I do want to get another face brush, though, that is like a little tougher, that will get dirt off easier. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice wooden back, and I really like that about it. Sorry about the pause, um, I really needed to go blow my nose, it's kind of embarrassing, but um, my nose was being a pain. So yeah. The next thing I have uh, in my grooming bag is this other hoof pick. And it's not great. Nope. I don't like this one at all. Yeah, but I wanted one with a brush. And I saw it and I thought, oh, that's really cute. But, you know, it's like cream colour. So when the dirt gets on it, you can see it. It's not that attractive. The pick is really difficult to use. And it was just from a local tack shop. But I really don't recommend this if you find one. It's not that great. So I don't recommend that. I don't particularly like it. Um, this next item I absolutely adore. And, like, it's got a handle on it. So I just put it in there. So I could just literally grab it like that. This is um, my soft curry comb by Illico and oh my gosh you guys I love this thing so much. Um, it's just really nice. Look at it. It's so soft. So soft. Oh it's great. I like this thing a lot and it's really nice to hold and yeah I just love this thing. Um, yep. In the back there is this zipper pocket as I already said. I don't have anything in it, but I'll show you what it's like anyway. It's just, it's quite a big pocket, as you can see. Yeah, it's just like this. Okay, and then, uh, this is really cool. Lots of people will know how this works already. But it opens like a box. It's really nice and cool. I'm so sorry, I'm sniffling so much. That must be so irritating, I'm very sorry. Okay, so first thing I have in here are the the treats. Yep, I just have my treats in there. Yeah, it's always nice to have treats to be able to give the horses, so I have those. And then I have my plastic curry comb. I don't think I've used this yet. No, I might have. But this is good for sweat and brushing out mane and tails. Don't use it on the legs. It's too hard. Don't use it on the legs at all. Then I just have your basic sponge. Now people are probably going to think that all my stuff is clean and that I don't use it. Yeah, I've only used it a couple of times, but when I do use it, I clean it. I clean my stuff. I like my stuff being clean. So, like, you can probably see on here little bits of dirt. But... I like to keep myself clean, so that's why my stuff is clean, so no hate, because that's happened before, I've gotten hate, well not hate, but saying that I don't use it, and when I do, the only reason it's clean is because I look after my stuff, because I like my stuff being clean. Rant over, okay, this is my uh, sweat scraper, I've not used this at all, either, and then, oh, this is great, this is my Roma mane and tail brush, this is nice. Then I have, ah, oh, this is also nice, uh, it's my noodle sponge, so nice, just slips on the hand like this, pretty. Then I have my dandy brush, fake wooden back, not too crazy about it, but you know, it does the job people, it does the job. Then I have my shining mitt. Uh, my body brush with a union jack on the back cause that's cool and then last but not least I have my curry comb you know your standard curry comb I like it a lot so yeah that is the end of my what's in my grooming bag tour again I just wanted to say I'm sorry that um I didn't get an edited video up which is what I had planned to do but I'll probably get one up next week so maybe every other week I'll do an edited video so one week you'll have a a vlog like a how to or something and then the week after you'll have an edit that might be interesting for you guys and so yeah that was my small haul review and a what's in my grooming bag tour 
So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and make sure to go check out my other ch channel, Timberhorse Girl 31. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, X Keep On Riding X. Okay, catch you guys next week. Bye!